Alrighty, YouTubers, here we go again. We have another special Amazon Prime unboxing to do. You guys can check them out. Link is going to be down below. Get one of these at a low cost, just like I did. Made a purchase a couple days ago. Finally showed up. This is coming from Brilliant. This is for your home smart technology, your home control, your main thing right now. So happy I bought this amazing device right here to beef up your home tech needs. This is uh, widely compatible with many smart technology devices. So there's what it supports. LED, CFL, halogen, uh, incendent lights, supports dimmable and three-way multi-way multi lighting, Amazon Alexa for news, weather, and more, video intercom with privacy shutter, iOS and Android, one year warranty. You guys can't beat this. This thing is so sweet. Um, the only thing is I'm going to need to get one of these uh, thermostats like the Nest or something like that. There's a list where what you could use. Honeywell, e Ecobee, smart things. I got a few things I got to uh, relabel so it could uh, work even better. I got the ring set up already. I got her set up. See Nest, Google Assistant, uh, Wemo, Hue, Honeywell, Ecobee. Uh, the ring it shows up really cool thermostat like I said I haven't set that up so I'm not gonna show that part I wish I could but uh, it'll show the weather sports pretty much everything you see on your Amazon uh, device uh, easy replace the light switch connect to the Wi-Fi I already did that uh, my friend had to come by and install it because I'm not a electrician so I don't want to cross no wrong wires but you might want to help somebody out if this is a gift for them. Unless they know people that install stuff like this. But uh, it looks pretty simple the way he did it. So I'm sure if you guys know how to do it, you can get it done. So setting up was easy. Uh, Wi-Fi, password, all that good stuff. Easy to connect. Um, ring and all that, you got to have to uh, enable the skills on your Alexa devices and stuff like that. Set that up. But I can show you briefly a few things on uh, the phone app because I got the uh, iPhone with me. So we'll show you that though in a second. And then we'll show you the device where I have it installed at. But yeah, he didn't take too long installing it. So definitely, uh, like I said, if you're giving it a gift to somebody, you might want to see if they need help installing it. But there's some other good YouTube videos also that shows how to install it. But uh, all right, let's get into the iOS on this for the iPhone users um, you can't use a ring doorbell so that's kind of strange but it's all right you can still use the ring app brilliant devices see front home online online check check bedroom home you can switch your uh, rooms whenever your devices are connected to uh, let's see what else Home management, front home is online, Galaxy 10, that's my uh, main device, iPod, uh, front, online. Now I'll show you the camera. So you can turn all lights on. Rooms. You have your room, bedroom, you have your devices like the ring doorbell. Like I said, it won't show the ring on this. But uh, you can still see the intercom and use it as a camera. Also, devices, cameras, live views. Check this out. Come on. There it goes. Look at that. That's really clear. This intercom you can talk to. Uh, sound on, sound off. And you can tilt it, side, uh, landscape. So that was a really cool setup. Just gonna have to do a few updates here and there. It's not too bad. Uh, front doorbell ring, but is that supported for the iPhone? 
I do got the Pro Max, so maybe it might be different because this is the iPhone 11 normal one. So maybe it might work for the Pro Max, but if not, I got my uh, Android device too. So you can use tablets and whatnot. Uh, photos, you can upload your photos. And this is going to be really cool to show you on the uh, screen once we go into the other room. Home, kitchen, same thing I got pretty much set up. Uh, front door, like I said, I just got to add it as I go. But right now, for video mode, this will work. To show you guys a brief like tutorial on how it is. But it's really cool. Uh, not too much to show you on the iOS app, but uh, you can upload your photos. Setting brilliant devices already showed. There's a demo mode. Try to use this with Explorer really. See? And more, more music. You can have them uh, play music through it too. So I'll show you guys in a second. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, here it is. We got the uh, brilliant smart home control panel installed right here. I don't know why there's a glare that much. There we go. See that back up a little bit. But that is so cool. Really a clear screen. I'm not sure what size uh, screen is, but it looks really smooth. So you just gotta touch it, like to turn on the light. Boop. Lights on. Then, whoops. Lights off. Then like I said, you could uh, program each uh, light where you have it, call it like one, like two, be like Alexa, weather. See, here, there it is. Right now in Clinton Township, it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. It's a nice little speaker Tonight's right there. Tonight's forecast has mostly clear skies with a low of 67 degrees. There's the weather, so that's really nice. Alexa sports, so. Here is your sports update. In baseball, first pitch between the Tigers and the Reds will be next Tuesday, July 21st at 6.40 p.m. So you got that. There's options in here. You can have it on or off. Uh, kind of like a shortcut menu. You can add your devices like the lights. But I got nothing really set up, so I got to set this all up tonight. But it should be easy to do. Cameras. Uh, brilliant. Live view. I might have to reset the password on the ring. But it'll just pop up once uh, you get the live feed going. But it should be connected. It worked once we uh, installed it. But I probably have to go back and reset the password. Yeah, I might not be. Uh, Going through, so I might have to reset it, but uh, yeah, see, I gotta enable the device, okay. Front door reconfig, save. So you gotta just add the device right here, and they'll show you like a list of devices you could use Honeywell Philips Hue Lithic Smart Things Sonus Music and if you don't see the device all you gotta do is click that it'll search for you but I'm trying reconfigure okay say doorbell chime do not play once play Mm -hmm. Give it one more try with that though. I'm not sure. Like I said, I probably got to reset the password on it so it could pop the screen, but that's something I could do on my time. I won't show you guys too much longer. Pretty much, this is what it is though. Really simple to install, especially running all the apps. Uh, it is sending you a lot of emails. You just got to verify with the codes and everything. So. But definitely worth the purchase, guys. Um, like I said, yeah, I'm gonna have to reset the password. The real live view. Yeah, okay. And it will 
to delete that. Add new device. Add to hit ring. Front door. Here's be discovered. So continue. What is called home finish? And I feel see maybe that might have gave it a good boost up again. Yep, there we go. Sweet. Now it's working. But yeah, see, I mean, you can still talk to the person. It's like another inner capsule. Really cool device right here, guys. So you just hit talk and you can talk to the male person or whoever is at your door. The uh, pizza delivery guy or somebody. But really cool. Uh, pretty much that's about it to cover. Uh, try it out. You won't be disappointed. You guys be safe. Have a good night. See you soon.